what's going on what's going on folks welcome welcome back appreciate you tuning in again this is yet another episode of just my opinion with ryan i appreciate you all coming back to the channel for those who are new to the channels please do yourself a favor or do me the favor take about five ten seconds however long hit a like and a subscribe maybe hit the bell so you can get notified when a new video comes truly truly appreciate it let's get right into it this is the channel where I'll talk to the camera. Hopefully you guys talk back in the comments. Let's debate. Give me some recommendations of some shows you'd like me to review, uh, to critique and so forth. Thorough, I got you. I know I still owe you with the Matrix thing. Definitely gonna watch that and see what that's about. Also, uh, once again to Thorough, I'm gonna check out that documentary you told me about, about the Carter High School thing. So I got some homework to do uh, thanks to some of the folks who've been rocking with me. So truly shout out to Thorough. So let's get into it for today. I want to talk about The Peacemaker. I think this is a wonderfully made series. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. This is directed by James Gunn. For those who are unfamiliar with him, he's pretty much responsible for all of the Guardian of the Galaxy movies. He's also responsible for The Suicide Squad that came out last year. And The Peacemaker is his most recent project. So what I like about this series is The Peacemaker literally picks up from the secret ending off The Suicide Squad. You know, we, we zero in on the Peacemaker recovering from that injury. He's, pardon me, he's literally looking over his x-rays from the doctor. The doctor is giving him a clean bill of health. And so it was like, okay, so we're literally continuing from this point on. And from the rip, you already know James Gunn's work from the Guardians of the Galaxy and so forth. His resume speaks for itself. So from the rip, you know, there seems to be like, comedy of some sort in every scene or some attempt at a punchline in every scene which i enjoy you know i don't you don't always have to have your superhero movies or series to be serious all the time um a perfect example i felt like the christopher nolan was beautifully beautifully done uh the christopher nolan batman movies but that came from a dark serious place there was very little room for comedy you know so I feel the same way, you know, so I feel like this was done the complete opposite, but it was still very fun to watch. I'm definitely looking forward to more episodes. And as I mentioned, it's literally like comedy first, action second. And other than James Gunn's long resume of work, another uh, good comparison would be Deadpool. Deadpool, you know, is a villain fighting by himself. He does have a couple of allies and, and things of that nature. And same with Peacemaker, you know, jokes in every scene. He has a, a, a team full of Amanda Waller's employees, you know, working with them, things of that nature. So if you're, if you're not familiar with uh, Peacemaker or you're interested in seeing the Peacemaker, just think about Deadpool or think about any of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. You know, you know you're going to get some goofiness, some comedy, uh, but you are going to get some badass action sequences and, and fight scenes and so forth. So that's really the, the best comparison you know, with it. Uh, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm, I'm a huge fan of James Gunn's work. I really think this was well done. I love the goofiness of it. Uh, shoot, I think the casting of having John Cena play the Peacemaker is perfect. Uh, and he's, he's killing that role. He's killing that role of just this goofy punchline given jock who can fight and I'm loving what I'm seeing, uh, but but there are a few moments of some sadness and some things that get a little, um, yeah, I'll just say sad. I don't want to use any other synonym other than that. There are a couple moments uh, within the series, very few, few and far between sad moments, like uh, the moment when he first meets his father, you could tell that there's some type of hurt there from the Peacemaker. Like this is, you've seen Johnson, if you're not familiar with John Cena, definitely look him up first but if you're if you're unfamiliar with him john cena is muscles on top of muscles uh therefore the peacemaker is muscles on top of muscles you know he was part of this vigilante squad or the suicide squad no matter what you think of his alternate mission that he got, that he received and so this guy looks like a badass but you know there's still some type of underlying hurt of him trying to impress his racist father um, I won't get too more into detail with it, just in case anyone hasn't seen it yet. But that's one struggle he has. He also has a struggle about considering himself a joke. There's another part where he has like this self-hate, where he's regretting what he did in, in the Suicide Squad movie. 
Um, this is not a spoiler because, hey, Suicide Squad movie's been out. But he has regret for killing Rick Flagg, you know, even. And so he's out here sad about that, you know. So there are some, you know, parts, you know, like I said, so far it seems to be few and far between. But, um, you know, of, of sad parts. But I do like where the mission is going uh, with this season. It's literally the Peacemaker and these handful of, you know, top secret Amanda Waller agents, you know, it's literally, it's literally them against the world, you know. The vigilante seems like that friend that you love to have in some cases, but socially is just too overbearing. But it's just a, a, a all in all, this movie is just one big ball of fun. It's just a really good time. Definitely don't go into this series um, with a serious mindset. As I mentioned, um, you know, you're not walking into like a Christopher Nolan Batman film or, or series. You, you know, you're not walking into any type of serious superhero movie you know just come in there with that mindset of you're watching um another you know another universe of of just what james gunn can produce for you and and i'm loving it looking forward to it and as i mentioned if you're all about not taking superhero movies seriously and you're just there for a good time definitely recommend to go see it i'ma still stick with it like i said i think it's very dope and this is ryan signing out till next time peace